Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ, and it's past Tuesday once again, uh, August 8th, so we're at uh, two-thirds, according to mathematics, of the way of the patch Tuesdays for the year. Uh, after last month was an absolute nightmare, where we had six that were already known and exploited on top of just nine total critical, I think 144, that was bad. This month we dial it back into reasonable. We have 76 total patched, six of them are critical, that's higher than you like, but it's about normal and two which have already been exploited. Uh, so not, not the worst, not the best, definitely better than last month, and uh, I'll take improvement. Uh, for the ones we're going to highlight, this first one is, once again, the Microsoft message queuing. This is the fifth consecutive month there has been a 9.8 critical exploit for this. So this service, or not service, a feature, is not on by default. You have to manually turn it on. And after five consecutive... Uh, if you're still using this, uh, you might want to start looking for a different process because clearly this is going to be continuing to attack. If you are using it and you don't have a choice, you have to keep using it, what you're going to want to do outside of patching, obviously, is make sure you're not listening on TCP port 1801, and that should keep you a bit secure. But nothing's changed. This is the same thing every time. It's network attack vector, low complexity, no users, no permissions. It's been the same thing every month, ongoing. Uh, may maybe newer technologies. Uh, the next one, this is an exchange server elevation. Uh, this one I'm highly is the 9.8 as well, but it's listed as important instead of critical. And if we're going into it, it's the same thing. Network attack vector, low complexity, no privileges. Basically what this one is with Exchange 2016 or Exchange 2019, they have the ability to do a brute force attack on credentials. So if you have secure credential policies, brute force is going to take some time, which is why it's only listed as important instead of critical. But the fact that it is network facing and has no privileges user and actually required is still a 9.8. So if you are using Exchange 2016 or 19 a patch or there is some PowerShell you can run for the web configuration, it's part of the link in this blog if you want to watch that one or highlight it here. But it's just basically a setting to change PowerShell saying, hey, no brute force. I do that one. Now the last one, and we're covering this one because this one is already exploited and it is known in the wild. And this one is a 7.5, and it is a remote search code for execution vulnerability. Uh, this one, high complexity, and it requires user interaction. So while it is known and has already been exploited, uh, it requires a user to click on a bad link or open a bad extension. Uh, you know, that's not great. Almost all of the... Breaches the network come from users clicking on something they shouldn't. So even though it's listed at 7.5 and important, this is one I'd probably patch sooner than later. And this one where network vulnerability, you just don't want, you know, you, you sent all your users to the training. They're, they passed the training, but they're still clicking on those links. Uh, I clicked on a link the other day for my training. I had to take more training for it. And, and I do this for a living. So I, I just patched this one. 7.5 seems low where it's already out there. And you know people are going to be clicking. And that's kind of everything for Patch Tuesday of this month, August. We're still in August. Yeah. Uh, there's not a lot to that one. I like, I like keeping things secure. Nice thing about patching, it always knows, you always know when you're coming in, you can have automation in there in place. If it was me, I'd use deploy an inventory. Might have a pilot group. Instantly update as many as I could that were allowed in the pilot. After I verify everything's running smooth and clean, patch the rest. Put all that on a schedule and never touch it. That's what I like. I'm lazy. Be lazy with me. For PDQ, I'm Jordan.